in the <coughs> remaining half an hour i would like to share with you two new things that are happening here both of them are actually not new both of them were part of the approved project proposal at the beginning we had hinted at this at various times but we had not implemented it because we wanted to stabilize the gamut of conduct of the workshop now the workshops are being conducted in a stabilized fashion these problems that i have just mentioned we will have to jointly solve them in some way or the other but let me now mention the two things there is an additional financial support that i had bargained with the government right at the beginning for two projects one is the akash project where we went to our remote centers only to set up the akash centers which many of you have done and uh, i do not know whether you are aware or not but the akash project has agreed to fund about a lakh of rupees to the akash project centers to purchase a low end server and some wifi points the idea there was that if the akash tablets were to be used by students in their hostels or in their labs and since wifi is a requirement then wherever wifi points were made available and wherever a server was made available for the content and applications to be loaded so we said we could do that there are many remote centers which have come back to us saying that they already have a server and wifi points so can they buy something else instead with this money now unfortunately something else cannot be bought so you can buy an additional server you can buy additional wifi points the question saying do we need to buy a server only of this specified capacity we said no you can buy a larger server you can buy a smaller server you can buy an additional server you can buy additional wifi points so under the akash tablet project the kind of equipment that you need to buy is fixed you can buy a different variation of that if you so wish you can buy in you can for example somebody says i have the server but i need to buy 30 wifi access points in my hostels that is perfectly acceptable all that you need to say your akash coordinator needs to say is that look we have this equipment but we are augmenting it by buying either this server or these many points etc etc because that is the specific uh, kind of equipment for which the funds have been sent of course if your institution spends more than 1 lakh rupees then you just send us that certificate of having spent more than 1 lakh rupees we will adjust 1 lakh rupee that we have given to you if you spend less than that money then you will have to refund the remaining that is as far as the akash project is concerned i had actually viewed the akash project and the t10 kt project in some kind of a coordinated thing because many of our institutions are which of your institutions are uh, participating in the akash also a wrong question sorry which of you are not participating in akash 1 two, 3 4 5 6 8 to there about 10 is shaukat here we know uh, do you have about uh, uh, let's say 100 20 tablets per college so about 1200 tablets to spare you can all right so those 10 remote centers which are not currently akash centers if they wish to participate even at this end because the project was supposed to have closed on 30th september fortunately the project has been extended up to 31st march by the standing committee so i still have the authority to enroll these and then we could actually send that additional 1 lakh rupee financial assistance to these colleges also provided of course they agree to abide by the expectations of that uh, uh, akash uh, project the expectation was very simple these tablets should be used in all t10 kt workshops for conducting quizzes online quizzes these tablets should be used in a classroom typically during the regular semester and these tablets should be used by your final year students for doing any android based or linux based uh, software development or content development for education so uh, you uh, those remote center coordinators who are not uh, 
participate, I mean, whose centers are not participating in Akash coordinators. This is an offer. You have to take a decision on the spot. Please feel free to talk to your head of the institution. But after lunch, or during that tea break, my friend Vinu will be sitting here with the list. And if you want to sign up, you just have to sign and give your contact address. I will temporarily appoint you as Akash coordinators in those new colleges and we'll go ahead with that. Is that okay? Fine. So that is about the financial assistance for Akash project. Why I mentioned this is that while Akash is an independent project, I would expect RC coordinators also to remain in touch with the Akash coordinator and find out what are the activities that are going. This internal coordination should happen from within. What we have found is that many times we have to connect the workshop coordinator and the remote center coordinator in that college through IIT Bombay or IIT Kharagpur. That should not happen. Anyway, now I come to the T10KT. In T10KT, I had made a provision for a funding support for setting up an additional infrastructure in a classroom, which is required for conducting this workshop. Please remember that all remote centers were identified as remote centers because they committed to provide the facility and they committed to provide everything including bandwidth and so on. But what we felt is that such a facility in the long run can be replicated particularly because more and more technology based education, more and more online education, more and more online interaction will become the order of the day in coming years. So at that time, I had got an approval to allocate funds for every remote center. In our first PRSG, the chairman and other people observed that please let this process stabilize and please identify the institutions which are running the remote center properly and which are conducting the workshops properly. It is subject to that, that, that you should release this fund grant. So we are waiting for it. We were identifying. We have a lot of problem cases. We also have a lot of cases where things are perfectly fine. Now I am sharing with you this uh, uh, support is for the following things. You have a server. You have provision for two video cameras. You have provision for a good quality audio mixer. You also have a provision for two AVU machines, which are nothing but PCs. In short, whatever technology support you require within a classroom plus a back-end server which may serve your Moodle or whatever we carry. So this provision has been made. The total provision is about rupees 5 lakhs. So it's not an extraordinary provision but substantial. Would you agree that this money should be good enough to create a classroom with this kind of facilities. So this also has, you know, the graphic uh, capture card, etc. Whatever specifications that Sajjan and Subroto have given you, you can practically buy that. We insisted on two cameras. In fact, I was questioned by the Joint Secretary of Finance that for conducting a class, you require only one camera. And I said, suppose for some reason the camera is not functioning on that day, what happens? Do I stop conducting the workshop? So critical component, which has a problem. Secondly, there are other things. We need to capture multiple things. We need to capture the classroom. We need to capture an individual when it is packed. So, well, I could argue and that, that provision was sustained. We shall soon be releasing the list of equipment that you need to buy. Now here, we do not want you to say that we already have this equipment. If you have, the, the purpose of this equipment is not to fund you for creating the facility for the first time. 
you are expected to have created that facility already. So this is an additional facility that I would expect you to create. That means you can take another classroom and create this facility. Or if you have an existing facility which, let us say, is not the most recent and current technology and is not complete, then you can transfer that into some other classroom and install this new equipment in this classroom where you use. But once this is done, the ministry would expect that for next three years, you will provide support for conduct of these workshops. And during the conduct of this workshop, the facility including that classroom will be exclusively made available for conduct of the workshops. The rest of the year, of course, you are expected to use it for your own educational purpose. Do you think it's a fair expectation? So this is something immediately after the PRSG meeting sometime in December or January. We shall be releasing these funds. But the uh, guidelines for the kind of equipment that we have will immediately issue. In fact, one of the reasons why we are thinking of sharing that information very quickly with you, within a few days we'll send a mail to all RC coordinators, is that you can discuss it with your colleagues there. And if you have any suggestions on any modifications, etc., then you can make those suggestions. We will pass them through the PRSG. And if the PRSG approves any minor changes, we will be able to. Is that okay with you? So this is, we believe, I believe that this would be a good incentive for an institution which has shown that on its own, it is able to conduct and sustain workshop. But with this, we expect that any equipment related problem should not arise. Because this equipment, and there will be only one request. None of this equipment which you install in a room should ever be moved for any reason. The problem is that in that college, somebody else requires a camera, it takes it away. Somebody else requires the amplifier, it takes it away. Somebody else requires three microphones, so it takes it away. He takes it away, but he does not return back in time. So this is a common logistics nightmare. We face it in IIT regularly. You would also be facing it. So if you say that this is the rule under which we have got this grant, probably you can use IIT Bombay and IIT Kharagpur name to say that this equipment shall remain there. Maybe we can add a, how much does a cupboard cost? About 4,000 rupees or something? 5,000? Is ordinary steel cupboard? Storage cupboard? 5,000. So we might add a 5,000 rupees cupboard so that the movable equipment can be kept inside that cupboard under lock and key. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, let, let me put it this way. While 5 lakh rupees is a good amount, 5 lakh rupees is not a lot of amount. Now, if you want, we can do the following. We can add a set of equipment and we'll say whatever you don't have from this you purchase. So that is one possibility. So that you can truly augment whatever. But you have to guarantee that that facility is made available for conduct of these workshops. Uh, sir, I have one query regarding that being a remote center coordinator, I always face a problem called bandwidth. Because most of the time, whatever happened that uh, my network administrator never giving a lease line. I face many times this problem. Uh, I request uh, all the time. Yeah, please, uh, please preserve your questions for the discussions. We are going to have a two hour discussion. <laughs> we are already aware of this point. I have raised it with NKN. What the ministry says is that the provision of bandwidth is not part of this project funding support. So this project will not do anything for it. <laughs> Secondly, every institution, you may not recall, but every institution has guaranteed that they undertake the responsibility of providing unadulterated, unvarying bandwidth for conduct of these workshops. So this question should be raised by you to your own institution, not to us. That is one so, thing. So of course, we know the problems. Quite independently, all institutions are encouraged to log in on, I mean, to join the NKN effort where a 10 Mbps internet line is being provided at some subsidy, but the colleges have to take that up from NKN. IIT Bombay cannot, unfortunately, help it. 
प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड वी ऑल्सो हैव सीवियर बैंडविड प्रॉब्लम डू यू नो हाउ द ए व्यू आर्किटेक्चर करेंटली रिक्वायर्स ए सिग्मा बैंडविड एट आवर प्लेस सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग वन टू टू एम बी पी एस लेट से वन एम बी पी एस गारंटीड एंड आई हैव थ्री हंड्रेड रिमोट सेंटर्स आई रिक्वायर थ्री हंड्रेड एम बी पी एस बैंडविड टू कंडक्ट द वर्कशॉप वी हैव ए वन जी बी पी एस लिंक एंड वेन आई टेक थ्री हंड्रेड एम बी पी एस फ्रॉम दैट माई कंप्यूटर सेंटर हेड एंड आई हैव परपेचुअल फाइट्स हट यू आर हॉगिंग ऑल द बैंडवेड फ्रॉम आई आई टी बॉम्ब सो दीज प्रॉब्लम आई ऑल्सो फेस यू ऑल्सो फेस हेलो बट आई एम सॉल्विंग माई प्रॉब्लम यू सॉल्व यूर प्रॉब्लम दीज प्रॉब्लम विल हैव टू बी रिजॉल्व इंडिविजुअली देर इज नो जनरलाइज सोल्यूशन सर कैन वी एड टू थिंग्स इन दिस लिस्ट वन इज वी करेंटली हैव वन एल सी डी प्रोजेक्टर एंड इफ यू हैव अ फैसिलिटी हैव अ मल्टीपल विंडोज सो इफ यू कैन एड टू एल ई डी प्रोजेक्टर्स और एल सी डी प्रोजेक्टर्स एंड वन एस टू फोर वी जी ए कार्ड देन इट विल बी इजी फॉर टू डिस्प्ले इन विंडो इफ यू आस्क मी आई वुड हैडेड अ होल लॉट ऑफ थिंग I have been limited by this amount. <laughs> Now, okay. I, 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 I would like to add a mini cloud, for example, <laughs> because that is what we are going to use. I am going to tell you about the next wave of uh, MOOCs and how we want to integrate it with T10KT. So this is the limitation. Now, what is a sensible solution which has just emerged is that instead of giving a fixed list of equipment, we could add this. We could add a projector, for example. and what we could then say is that this grant is being given to augment your infrastructure so that means whatever infrastructure you have you can either replace or add any equipment from that list we'll give you the list of equipment so that is where we would like you to comment back immediately after receiving our list already i will expand that list to include these two things that have been mentioned and uh, we can uh, talk okay but this grant will have to be settled in time very quickly you have to do all the procurement installation and certify that this has been done because it is mhrd money let me tell you i had minimum problems in convincing the government to give this money this crores of rupees of government funds going to private institutions was the objection of one particular bureaucrat who happily for us has retired because i hate people who distinguish between private public and government and this that that doesn't make sense I mean, indians are indians indian institutions are indian institutions but still this was approved and there were better thinking bureaucrats in the ministry who said this is correct and they approved so as i said it is not too big a sum but it's a substantial amount and the government has approved this as part of this project now what i suggest is that not all of you but many of you are uh, uh, no now all of you will be the akash project centers because those eight or 10 i have suggested that we'll send you at least 100 tablets immediately 100 120 there's a substantial amount of development work that has been done by students and teachers of the 300 colleges who have been participating plus our own teams plus teams at other iit so you already have a, a rich amount of applications and content on akash you have to just download and start using them now what i was suggesting is that 1 lakh rupee for the akash project which is being given and the 5 lakh rupees which is being given this use it judiciously for example you can have wifi connectivity points in that classroom through akash and you can use this money for something else so that i leave it up to you and your institutions uh, you agree uh, professor biswas and professor vashnan that this should be so these are the two things that i wanted to mention